State of Denial is a film about South Africa's AIDS crisis, but I think more importantly, it's a film about South Africans once again engaged in struggle against their government. They fought long and hard to overcome apartheid. Now they're once again up against their government. The president doesn't believe that HIV causes AIDS. Then that is why everything is a mess. It seemed to me that we could not blame everything on a single virus. I am a South African and before moving to New York to pursue a career in film, I specialized in AIDS public health. And when apartheid was overthrown, my colleagues and I really had renewed hope that the epidemic could be contained. And sadly, the opposite happened and we watched it spiral out of control. So on some level, I think State of Denial is my attempt to make sense of what went wrong, what happened. And I really wanted it to be an insider's perspective. I remember telling you, my father, Baba, I, you know, I'm positive. I was like, my daughter, don't you dare tell people that you're HIV positive. I don't think there's a family that hasn't lost a parent or a son or a daughter to HIV AIDS. Today, on average, we diagnose about one HIV-positive patient a day. It's just very humbling to be amongst people who are up against so much and yet continually push for change. Um, I think it's a lesson that everyone can learn from. <laughs>